Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson we're going to do the solution of yet another array processing example. So let's read the question and see how we would solve this. Okay, so this is part two of a question and this is now question two. So the program specifications are as follows. A menu-driven C program is required to simulate a random character generator. Use the given showcase.exe with the following instruction to complete the question. The program needs to do the following. Display the character array. Generate random characters, only uppercase letters between A and Z. Use the ASCII table to determine the range and count the specific character in the character array, sort the character array alphabetically, and exit. Okay, and use the following function prototypes in your program. We will use these ones, display um, menu, display char array, populate char array, count char in array, sort char array. Okay, note. No printf or scanf statements may be used inside populate char array, count char in array, and sort char array. So there may not be any printf or scanfs in these three functions. Okay. Tip. Only at selection 3 will the user be asked to input the character. If you prefer to use the scanf statement to retrieve a character, use a flush before and after the scanf statement. This is only to ensure that no scanning problems occur in your program. Okay. So here is some of the output. Welcome to random gen or random character generator. Okay, and there's some of the menus. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you can make a choice. And then we can then go and display everything and then we can go and um, count charge in array and we can specify what we want to count for and so forth okay so let's start at the beginning and let's do this okay so first let's quickly check what will happen is this will have a while or a some kind of looping structure that will enable us to continue so a menu driven program and a while or a for or a do while it's needed to um, run this until the user says exit so let's go to code blocks and we will start to program this um, question so first of all, I'm going to create a new empty file and I'm going to save this as solution1.c and I'm also going to keep this um, here on the left hand side open so that I can easily see what I need to do. Great. So we normally start off with our Ash include stdio.h in main void return zero. Okay. Next up, um, as I said, we need some repetition structure here. So let's use a do while. Okay. And there's also going to be a user choice. So we're going to create a user choice variable int choice and while choice is unequal to five, then we will exit. So what we will do is um, we're going to do a do while that will repeat until the user selects five to exit. Okay. Then if you go back, we've got a few functions. Let's quickly go and do our function prototypes. Function proto 
types void display menu void display char array okay and the parameter is char array int size void populate char array and same parameters is needed and then int count char in array okay and we're going to have the same parameters again but we can also have a search key okay so we can say char key and then our last function prototype is going to be void sort char array and we are going to have the following as our parameters the char array and the size and that's it um, let's check void 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 int void yes perfect so what we will do now is we will go down underneath our main function I'm going to copy and paste these functions and I'm going to add the brackets for each of these functions Okay, so now I've got my functions here ready and now we can go and start to do the display menu function. Okay, so the display menu function will display the following for us. We can have a printf statement for each of these lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 printfs each on its own line for its own line. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Okay. So first of all, what we're going to say is we're going to say, welcome to random character generator. Okay. Then new line. I'm going to add your student number here. Make one, two, three. And then there's going to be a tab space. One display. Oops. Display char array. Next up, I'm going to say tab space generate. Oh, sorry, to generate random char values. Okay, it's A to Z. And then next up, it's count char array from a to C. Next up again a tab space. Then it's going to be four. Sort char array. Oh, sorry. From A to Z. Count char array. 
count jar in oopsie count jar in jar array okay great so that is our selections here then lastly we're going to add the exit um, selection and then we're going to ask for a choice and we're going to save this okay and then the display function we will call here at the beginning of our program we're going to call the display function then after our display function we will then use a scan if statement to go and get the input of the selection from the user so we will say scan if percentage the choice okay and then we have now a choice what we can do now is we can use a switch statement and we can say case choice is a one we're going to do something okay case it's a two Case it's a three break. Case it's a four and then break. I'm just creating my my my, my basic structure here so that when we can when we start to program each of the selections it's quickly and we can just do the population. Okay, so what this will do is this will be for input 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This will be for invalid input. So this will be for invalid input. Okay, and then case 1 is for the display the char array function. And then we're going to call each of those functions. So let's do the display char array function. Okay, so let's quickly just check everything looks good. If we run our program quickly, just to check what's going on here. Welcome to random character generator, student number one, two, three, four. And we can select one of those, but it's not going to do anything. None of the functions is going to do anything, but exit will work. So we can just say, yeah, print if bye bye okay so you know that everything works we can do the display char array and display char array is actually quite simple we only need to create a counter variable for our counter controlled repetition loop that we will use to traverse through the array and we will say i is smaller than the size R plus plus oh, don't. okay and then the only thing that I will do is I will say print if and then I will say percentage C tab space and then I will do a a r r i okay so display char array will then populate the array for us. Okay. Or display the array for us if we say display char array. If we do populate char array, populate char array, um, the question was populate it with random characters. So we're going to do the same idea, the exact same idea, but we're not going to display. So we're going to do a counter controlled um, variable here we do counter controlled repetition but what we're going to do is we're going to populate each of the elements with a random value between something and something but we will discuss that now 
before we are going to start to generate random numbers we're going to say s round time null okay just we going to use time to randomize our rand function so if we use time and the rand function we need to go to the top and we need to say std lib dot h for the rand function and we need to say hash include time dot h okay so now we go down this will work and now we're going to do our rand function so i'm going to quickly open up this figure if we go down to our ascii table you will see capital letter a starts at 65 and it ends at 90. so it starts at 65 and it ends at 90. How many values are in this range from capital letter A to Z? Okay, so there's 26 values inside the alphabet. So what we're going to do is then, um, I'm going to generate a random number between 0 and 25, and then I'm going to add 65, and then I will get A to Z. Okay. Let's keep it open, but we just make it smaller. Great. So what I will do is I will then say percentage 26 plus 65 and that will generate then random number for my char array. Okay. And that's it. As easy as that. The next step, we're going to do the count char array. We're going to do a counter variable again um, and a counter control for loop again. I is smaller than size I plus plus okay and then what we will do inside this counter controlled array is actually we will go and count the amount um, of this specific key so what we will do is we need to say count is equal to zero that will be our count variable and what we're going to do is we're going to say if the array i is equal to the key we will increment count with one and then at the end we will just go and return count and that will then count specific charge in our array and then lastly we will do our bubble sort algorithm to sort the char array so we will create um, two counter variables and we will create a char hold variable and then we will do four oops and we will say i is equal to zero i is smaller than size minus one i plus plus and then we go again we say four j is equal to zero j is smaller than size minus one and we say j plus plus and then we're going to say if and we're going to ask if array j is bigger than array j plus one we will go and um, swap them around and then that's going to be actually very easy we use the hold variable first to store array j and then we're going to say array j gets new value and that new value is j plus one and then we can just say array j plus one gets a new value of hold Great. So we've got int i and j and char hold. We've got four i is zero, i is more than size minus one. Four j is equal to zero, j is more than size minus one. Then array j is bigger than array j plus one. Then we swap. If it's not, we just keep it as it is. So then we do our swap here. And then that's all that we need to do for our functions. Lastly, 
we need to go and create a char array actually in our main function. So we're going to create a char array of size 10. Okay. Char array of size 10. And I'm also going to then create a char for count char. Okay, so I'm going to create two variables here. It's going to be my in, oh, sorry, char array, char array of size 10, and a char count char is going to be also a char. And this will be used to um, get the selection from the user which um, character he wants to count. So, first of all, we're going to call display char array and we will then send char array as a parameter and then and then I'm just going to add the nice printf there or we can add it at the end after the switch okay Let's go on. We can have a populate char array. The next one, populate char array. Populate char array. And we're going to have the exact same parameters again. Next up, we will have the um, count char in array. And the count char in array will then be with printf printf and what we will do is um, we're going to ask for a character input from the user okay we do then a f flash std in and then i'm going to use a scan f percentage c and percent and then it's going to be this count char variable and then after that, we can go and then call the function. Um, and the function will be then inside our printf statement. And we will say the amount of percentage C okay, in the array is percentage d so what i will display here is the amount of this specific value the amount of just want to make that small the amount of that that count charge is going to be the value of percentage d and that percentage d will then be that return value of this function okay and if we go back just to yeah int there's a return value okay so let's quickly i'm going to make this bigger so i'm going to call that function and then inside that function i will have the exact same parameters again but with the count jar as a extra parameter so i'm going to quickly zoom out so that you can see the whole thing here okay so i'm going to have a print if the amount of c's is this one count chart in the array is d and this function will then send back the amount of that chart in the array okay next up is then our sort chart and the sort char, we're just going to basically call it with the same parameter again. Okay, we save. Um, and then we are more or less done with our program. We can add a nice little print if new line at the end. Um, we can also do a gauge if you want to 
and then we can go and say system CLS to make it nice so if we run this we will be able to display the char array but the char array will be now full of weird characters so what we can do is we can go and initialize everything to zero okay so that just the array is is actually initialized and then we can go and display it but it's not going to do anything then we can say generate random values and then we can display them there's the generated random values we can count the amount of C's the amount of C's in the array is three so let's go and double check so there's three C's apparently so let's check one two three C's yes perfect and we can also sort them and display the char array again so now you can see it sorted alphabetically okay we can also just add a nice little feedback here before you use the get you can say um, press any any key to continue just to give the user a little bit of feedback um, and that's it let's quickly see how the program will look like now so display one so now there's a little bit of feedback great and that's it that's our program that's an example for a char array um, always remember if you work with charge um, if you get input from the user you need to go and get use a flush and then char arrays you can use the ascii table to go and check what's the actual ascii value in decimal so that you can generate random numbers or random characters for your char array from capital letter A to Z just by adding 65. That's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.